take some deep breaths, people. Let's avoid the road rage. It's not worth it. Stay courteous. Remember that we're all going somewhere. At the end of the day, just remember these aren't cars on the road driving. There are humans in them. This goes for myself as well is to always remember we're all trying to just get to where we need to go. Be courteous to the people around you. Be extremely careful of parking lots. It's really sad when I see cars driving fast through parking lots. I would say take some deep breaths, people. Let's avoid the road rage. It's not worth it. I didn't talk about this at the beginning, but I am a executive and career coach. And I actually talk about how what we believe can impact how we feel. And I actually, I, I've written a book too, and it's called Winning the Game of Work. And in the book, I talk about how if we change our thoughts, we can change our responses. And, and an example I use is that if you're driving down the highway and somebody swerves into your lane, I mean, we've all experienced this, right? Where you're like, oh my gosh, like the belief deep down inside a lot of times is that this crazy person's trying to kill me. And so of course, if that's what our belief is, we're going to leap the horn and start cursing them and maybe shake our fist or give them the finger or whatever. But I want to contrast that with if you are driving down the highway and a police car or an ambulance swerves into your lane, you have a different reaction, right? Because, you know, deep down inside, you feel like, oh, they must be on their way to taking somebody to the hospital or to an important situation. So we don't have the same response. So I think that it would behoove all of us that when somebody does something that feels threatening to maybe consider that they're really not trying to kill you, that maybe they're taking their wife to the hospital to have a baby, or they just lost focus momentarily. They're really not trying to kill you. Just so we don't have so much violence on the highways. Stay courteous. Remember that we're all going somewhere. Some of us are in a hurry. So while you're being courteous, that might mean speed up a little sometimes for people. Get out their way. <laughs> or it might mean slow down and let them go past you. But at the end of the day, I think the most important thing for us to do is just stay courteous and remember that we're all out here on the road. We all want to get home safely. And none of us want to hurt each other either in the process. There are some very steep consequences to doing so. So none of us want to be around that type of stuff or be involved in that type of stuff. At the end of the day, just remember that all of us are humans. These aren't cars on the road driving themselves yet, <laughs> like empty. There are humans in them. There are mothers and fathers and sisters and brothers and husbands and wives and babies, little babies and little puppies. Look, that might move some people, puppies <laughs> in these cars. So please remember the humanity of it all. Don't get caught up in trying to get where you're going and just seeing brake lights and turn signals. These are actually people. So be courteous to them, be kind to them, and just be safe. The more courteous you are to others, the safer of a driver you are. This goes for myself as well, is to always remember we're, we're all living here together, whether you be walking, bus, train, how, uh, bicycle, however your means of transportation, we all need to remember that we're trying to just get to where we need to go and get somewhere safe so we can get back to our families or to our job. And it's just not worth killing ourselves over. And if you like speed, like I do, there are safe ways in controlled environments that you can go do that stuff because it could help prevent you from doing something on the road that you might regret. I had a friend of a friend that he got into a street race down in the valley and he crashed his truck so bad the cab sheared off from the frame and he now has spinal issues and a whole bunch of things and he's lucky he didn't kill someone in the process besides severely hurting himself he's lucky to be alive let alone walking just a friendly reminder drive safely it can wait be extremely careful of parking lots. It's really sad when I see cars driving fast through parking lots. I drive no more than 10 miles an hour through a parking lot. So always want to remind people to be extremely careful because kids will just jet out 
people just have to be mindful of their surroundings. That is like the worst time to like check the phone and the pay, you know, whatever have you, or look for something that fell on the floor. It truly can wait. Mm -hmm.